Here's an example of a DVD. While it's collecting your data, I like to check the condition of the DVD. My standard message says that it includes a DVD insert, as most of them do, but this one does not. So you got to make sure and take that out of the notes area here. It was able to tell that it was a director's cut. But now this one's also widescreen, so I marked that. Usually it can detect it, but if eBay doesn't know, then my program can't tell. Uh, also, I, I like to make sure I get everything to get the most value out. I got to spend a little more time. I know this has got Val Kilmer in it. That's got to be a selling point for somebody. Um, also, it, my Mr. Skin nudity detector was uh, detected this movie. I always like to check and make sure I've got the right movie selected. It just does a search on MrSkin.com, and if it shows the result, then it shows the result down there at the bottom. Uh, sometimes it will show a result for one that's similar. Watch out for that. We've got VHS. We're going to scan it. And we'll use one of our control items to change its condition. That's for acceptable. This one's for like new. I'm going to manually set the price on this one, uh, taking eBay's recommendation. We'll customize the genre and topic that our item is set to, as well as take some of this extra data that's been collected and add it to our title and subtitle, increasing our visibility in the search results. I have another method in mind of entering this information using the barcode scanner instead of the keyboard and mouse. I haven't had a chance to build it in though, so it'll be in future releases. And of course, in the interest of time, you can just ignore all of that extra information and just take the recommendations. Scan your control item and uh, move on to the next item.